family will always be there, even when they're not, because the traditions that are created will be passed down from one generation to the next. Built Ford Proud. Champion Ford in Owensboro. What's your starting five? How about this one? Mild, hot, Cajun, barbecue, and teriyaki. It's the flavors of Mingi beef jerky. Each one handmade from Ronnie Mingi's all-natural recipe using top quality beef. That's what makes Mingi beef jerky stand out. Take it from me, Tom Leach. Pick up a package today, and if you don't see it, ask for it. And check them out online at MingiBeefJerky.com. That's M-I-N-G-U-A BeefJerky.com. And go there today to see their newest product, Mingi beef jerky meat sticks in mild, hot, or honey barbecue. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. Well, good morning and welcome to, well, afternoon now. Good morning to uh, you uh, watching today. It's Walton Verona and Owensboro Catholic as we bring you the state championship in the All-A Classic. It's coming up next here live on Prep Spin, folks. And uh, we're excited to bring you today's game um, here on the network. And uh, we got two good teams going toe-to-toe, 18-5 -to -toe, and five on the season, Walton Verona. Haley Neely and uh, uh, Addison Michael, along with Brooke Perry, Emma Strunk, and Emma Gutman, uh, doing outstanding for that Walton Verona team. Well, Owensboro Catholic, they come into the ball game 16 and 6 overall, the Lady Aces. And uh, of course, they've got uh, Spencer Harvey. They also got Hannah McKay, who had a big game yesterday. You also got Madeline Lyon, Sarah Beth Clemens, their superstar, and then Mackenzie Keelan. All of them are quite the athletes out there for Owensboro Catholic. Looking forward to uh, bringing you this game here today, uh, here live on the network. And uh, I want to also mention Isabella Henning because she's played some valuable minutes in this tournament as well. She definitely uh, deserves to be mentioned, uh, along with uh, Ali Maggard, who's played some minutes in here as well this uh, week. And, uh, all contributing to the team. So looking forward to bringing you this game here live today on Prep Spin. William Warfield here with you courtside as we bring you the All-A State Championship. It's live here on Prep Spin. Thanks to Champion Ford over in Owensboro. Get over there and test drive a vehicle, folks.
family will always be there, even when they're not, because the traditions that are created will be passed down from one generation to the next. Built Ford Proud. Champion Ford in Owensboro. I work really hard, but I don't make a whole lot of money. And now, my hours are being cut back at work. I've gotten so far behind on my bills, I feel like I'll never get caught up. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. We're not going to judge you. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. Eight, five, nine, call us. In Lexington, and now in London. The future of healthcare seems dark at times, but for patients in Kentucky with diagnostic imaging needs, there's a place with clarity and a compassionate staff. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI provides quality patient care while saving you hundreds to thousands of dollars as compared to hospital-based centers. Remember, for your medical imaging needs, you have a choice. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. There are 50 Whitaker Bank locations serving Kentucky communities just like mine. 61 Whitaker Bank ATMs throughout Kentucky make getting quick access to cash easy. Whitaker Bank staff serves the needs of nearly 70,000 Kentucky customers every day. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. William Warfield here courtside with you as uh, we bring you the ball game between Owensboro Catholic and Walton Verona. Well, there's been some magic happening this week. And, uh, of course, uh, Owensboro Catholic had a couple big shots. And uh, let's see if we can pull some of those up here. Remember that three that Owensboro Catholic hit earlier in the week. Let's go ahead and show you that. At 39. This was the Owensboro three. Catholic going to play no for Catholic the, the tie, day. or will they go for the win here? 15 seconds. You folks are biting round. your fingernails back at home, I can tell. I can hear you chomping all the way here at Eastern Kentucky. Here it goes. Out for a three. It's up. It's good. It is up, it is good with 2.6 seconds left to go. A three by Owensboro Catholic. 42-41. Who hit it? That's the question. Let's look back here. It was 25. That was Madeline Lyon. Right there. Madeline Lyon. And they should have a timeout was called. Let's, let's try to let's look back here. Well, there you have it, the big three, Madeline Lyon knocking down the big three there for Owensboro Catholic to send her and her team on to the second round. They went on again to beat as I pull up the bracket here. They've had an outstanding tournament, though, folks. Uh, uh, amazing tournament there for Owensboro Catholic. Um, pull up the... 
all a classic bracket for the girls. And I'll tell you exactly how each team got here. So Owensboro Catholic, their, their path was actually their first game they defeated Brown. So I'll take that back. The Owensboro Catholic Murray game was to send them to the game yesterday, which was the Owensboro Catholic Holy Cross out of Covington game. So here's, here's how it happened. 73 to 23 over Brown. 42-41 over Murray with that three-point bucket by uh, Lyon. And then you got uh, Covington Holy Cross. They fell to Owensboro Catholic 57 to 42. That was a game we thought was gonna be a lot closer, but Covington Catholic came out and man, they played well. For uh, Walton Verona, they defeated University Heights in the first round. Then they defeated Bethlehem. By the way, they defeated University Heights 70 to 37, a similar game in the first round like Owensboro Catholic had. Uh, then they defeated, uh, like I said, Bethlehem 52 to 40, a little bit closer game. And then their last game against West Carter was really close, 58 54. That went down all the way to the wire in that one. And that's how the two meet here today Owensboro Catholic, Walton Verona. It's going to be a good one, folks. You don't want to go anywhere as uh, we bring you this game live here on the network today. We're listening in to all the festivities going on here before the starting lineups and the national anthem happens here in Richmond. Um, again, want to thank everybody for uh, for tuning in this morning, as uh, this afternoon, as we bring you high school basketball action, the All A State Championship, here live on the network. The crowd starting to come into the arena here today. Ocath packing it. Walton Verona packing it. You're going to have LCA fans packing here in a little bit, along with University Heights Academy fans, because the boys' championship game is coming up next here on the network. It's exciting times. Again, I want to thank Jerry Maggard and Champion Ford out of Owensboro. Get over there and test drive a vehicle. Uh, they are the reason why we can bring you this game here live today. Also want to thank our title sponsor on the network, Mingi Beef Jerky, the official game day snack of Prep Spin. Mingi Beef Jerky, get it at your local convenience store or any Kroger throughout Kentucky. Mingi Beef Jerky, that's the best uh, beef jerky in the world. Team's going back to the locker room before we get this one started. We're going to step out. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with your starting lineups here live on Prep Spin. be there, even when they're not, because the traditions that are created will be passed down from one generation to the next. Built Ford Proud, Champion Ford in Owensboro.
what's your starting five? How about this one? Mild, hot, Cajun, barbecue, and teriyaki. It's the flavors of Mingi beef jerky. Each one handmade from Ronnie Mingi's all-natural recipe using top quality beef. That's what makes Mingi beef jerky stand out. Take it from me, Tom Leach. Pick up a package today, and if you don't see it, ask for it. And check them out online at MingiBeefJerky.com. That's M-I-N-G-U-A BeefJerky.com. And go there today to see their newest product, Mingi Beef Jerky Meat Sticks in mild, hot, or honey barbecue. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. really hard, but I don't make a whole lot of money, and now my hours are being cut back at work. I've gotten so far behind on my bills, I feel like I'll never get caught up. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. We're not going to judge you. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. Eight, five, nine, call in Lexington, and now in London. The future of healthcare seems dark at times, but for patients in Kentucky with diagnostic imaging needs, there's a place with clarity and a compassionate staff. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI provides quality patient care while saving you hundreds to thousands of dollars as compared to hospital-based centers. Remember, for your medical imaging needs, you have a choice. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. There are 50 Whitaker Bank locations serving Kentucky communities just like mine. 61 Whitaker Bank ATMs throughout Kentucky make getting quick access to cash easy. Whitaker Bank staff serves the needs of nearly 70,000 Kentucky customers every day. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank text banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Did you know in addition to education assistance, UPS now provides housing for qualified employees. Through the UPS Kentucky Living Options and Opportunities Path, also known as UPS Kentucky Loop, you can work part-time in Louisville, go to school at Jefferson Community and Technical College, and receive housing for up to two years. Earn a degree or learn a trade. It's up to you. Loop benefits are available to those who live outside the Louisville metro area. Whether you're just starting college or going back to school, it's time to get in the loop. For more information, visit upsjobs.com. That's upsjobs.com. 
Back here live at Eastern Kentucky University, Paul S. McBrayer Arena. William Warfield here with you as we bring you Owensboro Catholic taking on Walton Verona here today. Uh, big crowd here today for this ball game. We got the band here in attendance and uh, both teams still warming up on the floor. Uh, matter of fact, Walton Verona just kind of in a huddle right now uh, before we get this game started. But uh, again, just want to welcome everybody in. Uh, this is for the all A state championship girls edition and then the boys edition will be up next here on the network. <laughs> All right, we're going to step out one more time. We'll be back with the starting lineups here after these messages. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. I'm on a fixed income. Credit cards help me balance the money that's coming in and what I need to live on. I've thought about bankruptcy, but how am I supposed to pay for it? Sometimes the people that need help the most are the very people who can least afford it. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78. Now, the consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London, I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind, and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind, and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind, and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in Somerset. All right, about to meet the teams here for this championship game. Walton Verona going to be introduced first. You are watching the game live here on Prep Spin. William Warfield here with you as we bring you this game live here on the network.
Catholic Lady Aces. And now let's meet the team that holds on the scoreboard of the Orangeboro Catholic Lady Aces. First inning, wing guard, number one, Key Riley. A junior guard, number two, Caroline Reed. A junior guard, number five, Isabella Henning. A junior forward, number 13, Rachelle Johnson. A sophomore forward, number 14, Ellie Hamilton. A sophomore guard, number 15, Catherine Head. A freshman guard, number 20, Camille Conkright. A freshman forward, number 24, Kayla Lawson. A sophomore forward, number 35, Ellie Maggard. A senior center, number 44, Larissa Rogers. And a freshman forward, number 50, Kinsley Gates. And now, let's beat the starting lineup for the Lady Starting at guard, a 5 foot eight junior, number 11, Spencer Harvey. And forward, a 6 foot junior, number 22, and forward a 511 senior number 25, Lynn And forward a 6 foot 2 senior number 33, Sarah Clemens. And a guard a 6 foot 1 senior number 34, McKinsey Keelan. The assistant coaches are Jessica Hankins, Brian Green, Sarah Maxson, Allison Ross, and Virginia Turner. Starting lineups here at Eastern Kentucky University. William Warfield here with you as uh, we bring you the game live today on the network. Ocat. Out of their huddle that they were at. On the floor. We're ready to get this one on, folks. Exciting times. Most goals. This place is loud. <laughs> Cut down the decibels just a little bit here as, uh, again, we bring you the game live here on the network. Clemens going to win the tip for O'Calf. Bring the ball up the floor, Spencer Harvey. Spencer with it. It's being picked up by Neely up ahead. Swing it over to the left side. Now back into Clemens. Clemens going to turn around. Jump shot up. No good. They kick it back out to Clemens. Good rebound underneath by Lyon. Jump shot on the way. Couldn't fall down. And here comes Walton Verona with their first possession of the ball game. Walton Verona gives it up top here to Neely. Neely being picked up up top by Spencer Harvey. To the right side. This is Emma Gutman who had a touch on it. Back over to the left side now. Addison Michael had a touch back to Neely. Michael back over here to Gutman. Gutman, one dribble, swings it back over here to the right side, but they dribble back out top. Emma Strunk had a touch back over to Neely. You are watching this game. This is the All A State Championship. And it's live on the leader in high school sports in Kentucky, Prep Spin. Big rebound underneath there by Spencer Harvey. She's got the basketball and going to go over to her right. Lyon with the basketball. Lyon looking inside. They got Clemens. Clemens going to be blocked. The ball on the floor, and we're going to have a jump ball caught. Anna McKay fed Clemens inside. Clemens on the shot attempt, had it blocked. Didn't see who got the block. But Walton Verona now with the basketball with the possession error. We're scoreless. Almost two minutes into this ball game. 
Swing the ball out top there to Gutman. Gutman, her three is blocked. Clemens said no. They swing it back down on the other end. This is Hannah McKay that dished off back to Clemens, and Clemens is foul. Clemens will go to the line. So Clemens going to go to the line here for Owensboro Catholic. Again, thanks to Champion Ford for helping us bring you today's game. We couldn't do it without him. Jerry Maggard, go test our uh, a vehicle over there. Tell him prep spin sent you. Free throws up, free throws good. And Owensboro Catholic with Clemens free throw on the board. Free throw up by Clemens. That one misses. Walton Verona with the rebound, and Neely's coming back up the floor here with it for the Bearcats. Drive to the basket, losing the handle there was Brooke Perry. Brooke Perry lost the handle, Clemens on the defense. And O'Cath will have the basketball. Owensboro Catholic will have the basketball. Looks like uh, Henning, Isabella Henning, in the ball game now for O'Calf. Spencer Harvey bringing the ball back up the floor here for the Lady Aces. All on the right side, here's Henning dribbling with the left, goes all the way hard to the basket, couldn't get it to fall. Walton Verona come out of there with it with a rebound, Brooke Perry. Neely open for three, it's up, no good. Rim spit it back out, but a nice rebound there, offensive rebound for Emma Strong. Emma Gutman now with it. Neely. Neely swings it back over to the left side with the ball is Addison Michael. Swings it back out top. Three on the way. That one plays around the rim, goes down. Three to one. Walton Verona now with the lead. Hitting out top. Being picked up by Brooke Perry. Drive to the basket, and that hoop is good. That was Keelan, Mackenzie Keelan, who came into the ball game. She got the bucket. We're tied up three all. Brooke Perry, or excuse me, that was Emma Gutman. Now Neely. Ball on the floor. And it will go out of play. It'll go right back to the Lady Aces. Three all, 4.22 left to go here in this first quarter of play. You're watching the game live here on Preston. Thanks to Champion Ford. Spencer Harvey. Now Henning. Now Clements. They look inside, turn around. McKay, she gets it to fall. Anna McKay on the board, five to three. Brooke Perry with it, gonna dribble to the middle in between the circles. Gutman looking. Swings it back out over to the left side to Perry. Perry puts down the dribble, a little scoop in the lane, no good. Battling for the board and it goes out of play. Off of Walton Verona, it'll go right back to Owensboro Catholic. Spencer Harvey. Dribbling with the left hand. Picks up her dribble, swings it to Henning. Henning back out top to Clements. Clements. Look inside there again to Hannah McKay. Back out. To Harvey, back to McKay. Inside here to Henning. Henning, she'll drive to the basket, couldn't get the floater to fall. Here comes Walton Verona back out of there. Neely, good little point guard, Neely. She swings it over to the top, three on the way, no good for Emma Strong. Strong just could not get it to fall, and Switzer Harvey with the basketball. Another big rebound by Clements. Five to three, Owensboro Catholic with the lead. This game uh, not as quick paced as the previous games have been. 
Look inside, up off the glass, no good. McKay couldn't get it to fall. Back and forth we go. Battle for the board, our ball right here, and we're going to have a jump ball and nice defensive play right there by Owensboro, Owensboro Catholic's McKenzie Keelan. Keelan all over the rock right there. Spencer Harvey will have the basketball. Five to three, Owensboro Catholic with the lead. They've got the leather. Harvey swings it over to the right side. That's Lyon. Look inside, the ball taken away. Walton Verona. We'll get to the YouTube comments here in just a little bit. Neely drives to the hoop, up off the glass, counting. Haley Neely, a little this one out on the court. But also an impactful player for this Walton Verona team. They look inside, Clemens has position, couldn't get the first shot to fall, blocked on the second one, but a jump ball caught. They're gonna say jump ball, not a block. We're all tied up five all here on the network. You're watching the game live here on Prep Spin, thanks to Champion Ford. Also our title sponsor on the network, that's Mingi Beef Jerky, the official game day snack of Prep Spin. Neely bringing the ball up the floor. By the way, if you all need braces or Invisalign, check out Drs. Durbin, Morris, and Garner in the Lexington or Louisville market, and they will take care of you, give you $1,500 off your braces or your Invisalign. If you mention Prep Spin, that's an exclusive offer for our network. Drive to the back. Well, no, she kicks it back out. Neely's got a three open. Neely's three, nothing but the bottom of the next. Eight to five, our score. Neely from downtown. Eight to five, the score. Hitting out top. Got it. She's going to kick the basketball out to Lyon. Lyon going to be called for traveling. Eight to five is where we're at, folks. Fifty-one seconds left to go here in this first quarter of play. Neely to bring the ball up the floor, looking over to the coaching staff over there. Long Verona has it taken away. Henning strips the basketball. Henning looks up ahead. She's got Harvey. Harvey's going to go right to the rack. And it's going to be fouled. The official calling the foul was past the half court line when he called it, though. It was the trailing official who called the foul. Walton Verona fans not liking the call. However, that sends Harvey to the line. Harvey's free throw good. Second free throw, it is good. Eight to seven the score. William Warfield here courtside with you. Owensboro Catholic and Walton Verona in this all A classic state championship basketball game. Winner's gonna take home a nice trophy. Both teams will take home a nice trophy, but one's gonna take home the ship. Eight to seven our score. Neely kicks out to the left wing. Three on the way. Three is up. Three is good. And the strong hit the three from the left wing. And Walton Verona with a 11 to 7 lead at the end of the first quarter of play. You're watching the game live here on Prep Spin. Family will always be there, even when they're not. 
because the traditions that are created will be passed down from one generation to the next. Built Ford Proud. Champion Ford in Owensboro. Our Kentucky Loop instant replay right there. UPS Kentucky Jobs, uh, upsjobs.com. Check them out. They got great tuition assistance programs for uh, high school students that are uh, graduating. And uh, check them out, definitely. UPS Kentucky Loop, upsjobs.com. 11 to 7, our score. Clemens with the basketball for Owensboro Catholic. Look inside, backing up, kicking back out. Clemens, she'll take the three. Short. Big rebound there by Strong. Here comes Neely. Neely goes to her left. Blocks. Clemens said no. Clemens with her second block of the ball game. Count the basket, Strunk. Watch it again here, it was the inbounds play. She count the basket and she's fouled, 13 to seven our score. Free throw, it's good. Thirteen to seven. Game live here on Prep Spin today. All a classic state championship. Taking away Walton Verona. Strong. Oh, on that steal right there was Gutman actually. They couldn't hit on that end, but Owensboro Catholic coming out there with the rebound. McKay has it. McKay swings it out top. Spencer Harvey with a three in and out of there. Big rebound that goes to Walton Verona. Neely came out of there with it. Ahead to Strunk. Strunk come off the glass. No. Walton Verona out hustling. Owensboro Catholic at this point. Harvey. Layup too strong. Jump shot good, however, by Clemens. 14 to 9. on the right side. Swing it back out top. Now to the left side. Strunk has it again. Strunk gives it up here to Gutman. Gutman back to Strunk. Over to the left side to Neely. Neely. Double dribble. She's not in any hurry. This is Brooke Perry with the basketball. She's being picked up out top by Lyon. Nice feed inside and the bucket. That was Addison Michael, Neely with a nice feed. Neely dropping the dime there for Michael and Michael put it up and in. 16 to nine our score, Walton Verona. K with it, swings it back up top here to Keelan. Block shot again. Walton Verona going to be fouled. Keelan might have committed the foul here. Sixteen to nine. William Warfield here courtside with you as we bring you the game live here on the network. Haley Neely again. Running the show for this Bearcats team. 
Left side three on the way. They love that corner over there, and they continue to hit them. That corner over there, three threes that I can remember so far in this one. That one by Brooke Perry. Three threes from that same spot. Three threes. That's the difference in this game so far. 19 and nine our score. Kath with the ball, hitting with it. Hinning swings it to the right side. Now they look back inside, and the ball taken away. Walton Verona, Neely with it out top. In the ball game for Walton Verona, Maggie Berger is in there. Strunk with an unbelievable lay-in. She's having a game of her life right now. Strunk in the ball game has nine points for Walton Verona. She is all over it right now. 30-second timeout called. Watch this again. You see the ball there in Addison Michaels' hands. She dishes over to Strunk. An unbelievable lay-in. Just kind of toss it up there. 21 to 9 is our score here on the network. William Warfield here with you. A lot of fans tuning in on Facebook. We appreciate that. A lot of fans watching on YouTube as well. And uh, again, thanks so much. We, we love our fans. Appreciate everybody tuning in to watch some great high school basketball here in the state of Kentucky. Hitting with the basketball. Swings it back out top. They give it back over to Henny. Her two-point basket, we're being told, goes down. She had a foot on the line. 21 to 11, a long two. Traveling going to be caught against Walton Verona. So O'Calf getting a break there. They're going to get the basketball back. Spencer Harvey calling the set play now. Hitting with it on the right side. And he kicks it back out top. They swing it back over to the right side again. Keelan, she'll take a three. Keelan's three missing. Battle for the board. Walton Verona has it. Walton Verona all the way to the basket. Nobody guarding. Nobody at all guarding Gutman. And O'Calf wants to take a timeout to talk about it because nobody was back on defense on that last play. Watch this again. You're going to see. Gutman, I mean, she had a clear lane to the basket. Clear lane to the basket on that one. All right, looking here at uh, some of the comments coming through. Again, we appreciate everybody tuning in as uh, we bring you this game live here on the network. Everybody's watching on Facebook, it looks like. Uh, a lot of people watching on Facebook. Riley Smith says, uh, you guys are the best. We appreciate that, Riley. Thank you guys for doing it so we can watch. Donette, thank you. Onwards Bearcat says, Marta Black. Joyce Webster says, thanks for the great comedy. Commentating, excuse me. Joyce Webster, thank you. Paula Michael says, awesome. Emma Gutton runs the court to the score. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. O'Calf with the basketball. They trail 23 to 11. 
Ball on the right side, Clemens with it. Clemens, here's a three on the way. That one no good. That three taken by Keelan. She couldn't get it to fall, and here comes the Bearcats back the other way. Bearcats with the lead. Swing it over here on the right side. Gutman, and she touches the line as she came down with the basketball. Dustin Spielman says, thanks for the live feed. You're welcome. O'Calf. They've got the basketball. 23 to 11 to score. We need to put one more up there for Walton Verona. They just fixed it. 23 to 11. Now, O'Calf hits another three. 23 to 14 to score. I want to say that was uh, 25 over there. I was looking at the uh, scoreboard as she was hitting it, but I think that was Madeline Lyon that hit the three there for O'Calf. Neely with it. Kicks it back out top. Addison Michael, she's going to hand it off. Gave it over to Gutman there for a second. Back out top to Neely. Neely being picked up straight away there by Spencer. Also in the ball game again, Maggie, Maggie Berger. Where's that number 44 jersey for Walton Verona? Crossover by Neely, gives it to Berger. Berger back over to Neely. Double team to Clyde here, but nice job there by Addison Michael getting out of it. Neely will go to the rack. She got swatted. A couple of OCAF players got in there and swatted that basketball. Henny dishes off. Here's a jump shot. Keelan couldn't get it to fall. Berger got the rebound, gives it off to Neely. Here comes Walton Verona again. Berger with it. 23-14, that's the correct score. Here's Neely with the three. That one no good. Battle for the board. Owensboro Catholic has it. Keelan came out of there with it. Keelan looking up ahead. Harvey, Harvey on transition, got the bucket. Nice job, Keelan to Harvey. 23 to 16 to score. And a timeout call. Comes with officially on the scoreboard up there, 26 seconds. Officially on the scoreboard. Joyce Webster, got you taken care of, Joyce, I think. A lot of Walton Verona fans watching on Facebook today. A lot of uh, Owensboro Catholic fans are watching the YouTube feed. Now the YouTube feed is actually better quality. You can watch it at 1080. The uh, Facebook feed, the best you can get it is at 720. Keep that in mind. If you want to watch the better quality version, get over to YouTube. It's got chat as well. I know net, uh, Facebook, you can network and all that good stuff with it, but uh, YouTube definitely has got the better video platform. 23 to 16, our score. Neely with it out top. Double team comes over there to her. Gutman swings it over to the left side, and they throw it all the way across court. And the ball stolen away. Ball taken away. That was Hannah McKay came up with a basketball. Traveling going to be called. The official hesitated there for a second. Traveling going to be called against Lyon. Lyon, um, Lyon was looking to pass. And here's a shot at the buzzer. Oh, man, that come close. It was right off the front of the iron. Right there, 23 to 16 is our score. And we are here at the half now. It's halftime. Walton Verona, they have showed up here in this one. We're gonna step out for a second, folks. We'll be right back. You're watching the game live here on Prep Spin. Family will always be there. 
even when they're not, because the traditions that are created will be passed down from one generation to the next. Built Ford Proud. Champion Ford in Owensboro. What's your starting five? How about this one? Mild, hot, Cajun, barbecue, and teriyaki. It's the flavors of Mingi beef jerky. Each one handmade from Ronnie Mingi's all-natural recipe using top quality beef. That's what makes Mingi beef jerky stand out. Take it from me, Tom Leach. Pick up a package today, and if you don't see it, ask for it. And check them out online at MingiBeefJerky.com. That's M-I-N-G-U-A BeefJerky.com. And go there today to see their newest product, Mingi beef jerky meat sticks in mild, hot, or honey barbecue. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. really hard, but I don't make a whole lot of money, and now my hours are being cut back at work. I've gotten so far behind on my bills, I feel like I'll never get caught up. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. We're not going to judge you. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78. Now, the consultation is free. Eight, five, nine, call us. In Lexington, and now in London. It is halftime here at Eastern Kentucky University, Paul S. McBrayer Arena. As we bring you the Owensboro Lady Aces taking on the Walton Verona Lady Bearcats here in Richmond, Kentucky. This is for all the marbles as the All-A Classic State Championship is on the line. William Warfield here with you. Couldn't do this today without Champion Ford out of Owensboro. Get over there and test drive a vehicle. Uh, Walton Verona fans, if if you could, and you don't mind, uh, at Champion Ford on Twitter, just tweet out and tell them thank you. They're the reason why we can bring you the Lady Bearcats today as well. So keep that in mind, folks. Uh, you know, corporate sponsors stepping up to the plate so that we can bring you high school athletics. There is rights fees and stuff like that that we got to pay to be able to do what we do, and uh, we couldn't do it without those folks. All right, so first half stats here as we're looking down the list. Uh, Emma Strunk with nine points in that first half of play. Seven for Haley Neely. We're talking about Walton Verona right here. Three in the ball game for Brooke Perry. Two apiece in the ball game for Addison Michael and also for Emma Gutman. 23 total points for Walton Verona. For rebounds, um, man, offensive rebounds, two. 11 defensive rebounds for a total of 13. Uh, a strong two out of three from three-point land. And then three out of five total field goals in the ball game. So she's shooting very well today. Uh, matter of fact, she's got three of those rebounds. Also three of those rebounds for Haley Neely. Can you believe that? The littlest one out on the floor has got three rebounds in this one. Brooke Perry's also got three. Two for Maggie Berger. 
she come off the bench today. Um, and then Emma Strunk with three steals in this one, two steals for Emma Gutman. They are doing an outstanding job, Walton Verona is. For Owensboro Catholic, looks like this. Total points leading the way, Hannah McKay's got four. Um, Spencer Harvey's got four. Three in the ball game for Madeline Lyon. Two apiece for uh, Keelan and Henning. Two steals in the ball game for Hannah McKay. One steal in the ball game for Isabella Henning. And then you got on rebounds. Rebounding is pretty even on both sides. You got 13 to 11. 13 for Walter Verona, 11 for Owensboro Catholic. But leading the way in rebounding is it's, it's a group effort for, for um, Owensboro Catholic. McKay, Clemens, Harvey, Lyon all got two apiece. And then you got one apiece for Mackenzie Keelan um, and uh, Henning. So all of them with the rebounds in the ball game there for Owensboro Catholic. Two out of four total field goals for Hannah McKay. So she's shooting 50% in this ball game. But uh, six out of 19 for, uh, for Owensboro Catholic and nine out of 19 from the field for Walton Verona. 23 to 16 is our score. Give some more shout outs here. Danette says, so close. Great half, Lady Bearcats. Great second quarter. So proud of the girls, says Holly. Lori says, keep it up, girls. Go Bearcats. Mark Meredith says, let's go Bearcats. A lot of Bearcats fans watching today on Facebook. We got some Neil Diamond playing here at the uh, stadium. Hoping everybody's singing a little Sweet Caroline. But uh, we're going to step out for a minute. I'm going to sing it with them, folks. I got to go. This is my song. We'll be right back. The future of health care seems dark at times. But for patients in Kentucky with diagnostic imaging needs, there's a place with clarity and a compassionate staff. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI provides quality patient care while saving you hundreds to thousands of dollars as compared to hospital-based centers. Remember, for your medical imaging needs, you have a choice. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. There are 50 Whitaker Bank locations serving Kentucky communities just like mine. 61 Whitaker Bank ATMs throughout Kentucky make getting quick access to cash easy. Whitaker Bank staff serves the needs of nearly 70,000 Kentucky customers every day. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank text banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Did you know in addition to education? Back here live on Prep Spin as we get ready to start the second half of play. It's Owensboro Catholic Walton Verona, folks, for the championship. You are 
watching this game live here on the network. Neely will have it to start the second half for Walton Verona. Neely with a basketball. Swing it down, there's a foul going to be called. So Walton Verona will find their way back to the line and going to the line for the Lady Bearcats is going to be Brooke Perry. Free throws up, no good. Steve Lawrence hollering at Joe B. <laughs> Second free throw is good. O'Kath has the ball as Harvey brings the ball up the floor. Owensboro Catholic. You guys can vote. Who gets the MVP? If your team wins today, who gets the MVP for each team? I'm going to let you guys decide. You tell me. You give me uh, your thoughts, and I'll write it down. I got a vote here courtside. They want it to be turned in here shortly. But I need you guys to help me out. Who gets the MVP if you were voting for each team? Who gets that? You can comment on Facebook or YouTube. I'll look at both of them. There's a steal coming up here by Old Catholic. Keelan goes the length of the floor, able to score. And 24 to 18 is our score here with seven minutes left to go in this one. Well, in the third quarter anyway. Neely with the basketball, moving to her right. Picked up a dribble, has to give it up there. She gave it over to Brooke Perry. There's Perry's floater. Perry's floater drops. 26 to 18. Who should get the MVP for each team should their team win it? Little floater, that one up off the glass. That's a little good right there. That basket by McKay, Hannah McKay. That's what she does best. Crystal Rexroad says, let's go Bearcats. Great work, ladies, keep it up. Keelan with the basketball out top. Twenty-six to twenty. Ball out of play over on the far side, and it's gonna stay with Walton Verona. Who gets the MVP? Look inside and layup unsuccessful. That was a little hard there by Emma Strunk. Here comes Owensboro Catholic. David Spinner, thank you so much. Go Bearcats, he says. Shot no good, unsuccessful. I'll look at the YouTube comments in between quarters and we'll figure out who we're going to give it to. Hannah McKay, uh, Brooke Perry for Walton is who we're being told. Hannah McKay for Will Murphy. She says also Emma Strunk, Addison Michael, or Haley Neely for Walton Drone. Jump shot partially blocked on the other end. Walton Verona with it. That one blocked. Clemens got a piece of it. Chased down and knocked out from behind. Neely came back and swiped at the basketball, knocking it loose. Inbounds. Couldn't get it to fall. Big rebound underneath and Going to be found and going to go to the line is going to be Hannah McKay. Steve Lawrence says Neely. P.J. Bowman says, great opportunity to watch hometown teams go Bearcats. Burnett says she's voting Neely. I'm listening to you guys, so you guys got the vote. I'm putting the vote in your hands. 26-21 our score. 
Second free throw is good. 26-22, Neely with the basketball. You're right, guys. Uh, Neely, if, if you're talking about Walton Verona, she has been nothing short of spectacular in this tournament. Some little things that she does as well, like that, kicking it out for three, but instead that three is going to be left short over from the right side by Gutman. Neely initially gave it to Michael, and Michael, Addison Michael kicked it. There's a three on the way for Owensboro Catholic. They're winning the rebound right now. Put it up and in. Another big rebound and a put in by Hannah McKay. McKay working hard underneath. Twenty six twenty four score. Ball picked up here by O'Calf. Here comes McKay and the Lady Aces. Lyon had a touch on it. They swing it back over to Spencer Harvey. Back to Clements. Clements right above the free throw line. Looking for somebody, and we're going to have a whistle over on the other end. Did they call three seconds? The official that made the call from half court in the first half that called a foul that probably shouldn't have been a called foul. Just called three seconds, and again, he was at half court. I thought the one under the basket was supposed to call that. 26-24, could be wrong. Bearcats with the basketball. This is Emma Strunk with it. Strunk kicks it back out. Here's a three on the way. Three up, no good. Brooke Perry couldn't hit that. Here comes Spencer. Neely all over like super glue. Over to the right side, Henny. Just been counting down here at Eastern Kentucky University. Paul S. McBrayer Arena, champion Ford. Thank you so much for helping us bring this game to you today. To everybody. A lot of folks watching. O'Cath will take the three, Henning short. Couldn't get it to fall. Here comes Neely with the rebound again. Man, she's all over the floor. Neely going to her left, swinging in, weaving in between the lanes, and up and good. Count the basket. Neely with another spectacular basket. says, come on, Bearcats, play your game. Allison Schmidt says the Aces had that game win that game with the crazy game-winning shot, so they have to stay the course defensively. Go, Lady Cats. Three's Crompy. It was a well-set-up three with 10 seconds left. She says she wouldn't call it crazy. Well, I don't know. It was against Murray, and Murray's a daggone good team. Murray, the chance from last year, I would call it pretty crazy because the game was on the line. You got to figure that they only won by one, so probably should have went for the time, try to beat them in overtime. Instead, they hit that three. That made it crazy, right? Because you're supposed to go for the tying, taking it overtime, and take your chances. But instead, Lion hit that three. That made it crazy. That's certified crazy. <laughs> but she hit it. You're watching the game live here on Prep Spin. Kara Michael says, Carla Michael says, Neely for MVP. Steve Lawrence says, kind of hard not when you give up the dribble. Angel says, Neely for MVP. 28 24 the score. Spencer with it. Now Henny. Ball out top. Now they look inside Clemens. And Clemens is fouled.
Metcalf at the line. Second free throw good. First free throw was good too. It's 28-26. We got a two-point ball game. Twenty-eight, twenty-six. Neely dribbling out top, right on that Eastern Kentucky Colonel logo. Brooke Perry back over to Neely. Crystal and Randy Rex wrote says Neely MVP. Guys, I, I can't disagree. I think Neely is going to be the MVP if Walton Grona hangs on. I mean, she is the floor general out there running the show. Nothing but hustle. It's had a heck of a tournament. All up top, Maddie, Maggie Berger. Neely, left-hand dribble. Goes up against the trees and swatted, though. Good block by Owensboro Catholic. And they're going to call traveling on Henny. Traveling caught on Henny. Anna McKay should get paid for the playing. <laughs> Will Murphy. Sarah Beth watching. Steph Francis watching. That's Miss Francis, as we're being told. We got another whistle. I need help with Owensboro Catholic. If Owensboro Catholic wins, who's the MVP? If Owensboro Catholic wins this ball game, who would you vote for MVP? Spencer Harvey with it. Kind of coin toss right now. Clemens. And the ball not loose briefly. Oh, well, it came off her fingertips. They kick it back out. Harvey will take the three. Harvey hits a big three. 29-28, and O'Cath got the lead back. It's been a while. They've got the lead. They're pressuring there, but the Bearcats able to get across the half line. Neely out top. O'Cath turning up the pressure. They're turning up that defense right now. Officially on the clock up there, there's four seconds. Neely, scoop. Got it to fall! Neely, got it to fall. Watch this. Watch the backboard, you'll see the light come on. Right there. Oh my. 30 to 29, Neely with a heck of a shot. Woo! Sorry to yell in the microphone, but that was pretty exciting watching Neely hit that type of shot. Going into the fourth and final quarter, unless we got an overtime here in the girls game. Clutch play, clutch play, says Lori Spencer Angel. Yes, ma'am. Hannah McKay. Manny Clements says Hannah McKay should be the MVP if it was Owensboro Catholic winning. I'm looking on the YouTube comments. Hannah McKay, everybody says Hannah McKay. Some folks are saying Sarah Beth Clemens should be MVP. All right, Lady Aces with the basketball to start this fourth quarter as we get the game going back up here at Eastern Kentucky University. Paul S. McBrayer Arena, William Warfield here with you. Couldn't do it without Champion Ford today. They pay the rights fee, thank you. Jump shot, good. 
31 to 30, O'Cass got the lead back. Neely with the basketball, hit the big shot to end the third quarter of play. 31 to 30. Here comes the Bearcats, again, back out top to Neely. Slow pace right now for the Bearcats offense as uh, they swing it over to the right side, and that's Emma Strunk with it. Back over to Neely. Swing it over to Michael. Michael goes baseline. She draws the foul, and a foul going to be called against Owensboro Catholic, and it appears it's going to go on Mackenzie Keelan. Joyce Webster says, no apologies needed. Love the enthusiasm. Well, I appreciate that. That was a big-time play, and you got to get loud for those types of things, I feel. The crowd certainly was. 31 all, we're tied up again. At the line, Addison Michael, Walton Verona. Second free throw, good. 32-31. 32-31. Walton Verona with the lead until now. Oh, Clemens misses, got a rebound. I called that a little bit too early. Clemens misses the re uh, misses the put back on the rebound. She's going to go to the line. She's upset at herself. She was in position. That should have been automatic for her. And she's upset with herself. Got to love her passion out there for the game of basketball. Free throw, misses. 32-31, Walton Verona continues to lead the ball game. Carla Michael said, that's my girl. Great job, Eddie. That's what she said as well. Misses both free throws. Will that come back and, and haunt them? I don't think the Lady Aces think so. They're still right in this ball game. 32-31, plenty, plenty of time left to play. Neely with it. She's got to limit the mistakes down the stretch. Ball on the floor, Owensboro Catholic. It's a jump ball. And possession arrow will favor Walton Verona. Steve Lawrence says that was a good foul. You want that? I guess we're going to vote Hannah McKay. Back the other way we go. Thank you. You're watching this game live here on Prep Spin. A drive to the basket equals a bucket for Owensboro Catholic. 33-32, the Lady Aces back on top. All right, so they needed the vote. They needed our vote. We gave it to them. So here's who we voted for. And thanks to everybody for the help. Hannah McKay is our MVP for Owensboro Catholic. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I mean, you can argue Clemens, but I think Hannah McKay's been the real MVP of this tournament. Clemens certainly has had a heck of a tournament too, but all right, Bearcats fans, I know a lot of you are watching. With a unanimous vote, Haley Neely is going to be our MVP should they win. Foul back on the other end. It's going to be charging called against Owensboro Catholic, I believe. No, it's going to be a blocking foul. Referees need to know what the... The referee looked like he caught a charging foul, although he caught a blocking foul on that one. Free throw, no good. Hitting at the line. I'm going to let this clock on, this, on the broadcast run down a little bit more. The official time up there is 529. Aiden, we did vote Haley for MVP. That free throw is good. Time is synced up now. 
34-32, the call. One official called charging, another one called blocking foul. The one that called blocking foul overruled the charging, and that's what happened. Just in case anybody was wondering. I was confused, too. 34-32, Owensboro Catholic with a lead. Neely with it, try to cross over up there on Spencer. Spencer got a hand on it, ball on the floor, and a foul caught on Spencer. Spencer throws down. Throws down those fists on the floor as she is upset at the call. 34-32. Owensboro Catholic fans behind us say it's okay. Keep the pressure up. Bearcats with the basketball. Harvey comes out of there with the ball, and she's called for traveling. Called for traveling. Bearcats are having it under their own basket. Looking. Strunk. Jump shot inside three. No good. Rebound. McKay. McKay. Gives it off to her teammate, Keelan. Keelan running the show. Kicks it back out top here to Clemens. Clemens now up top here for Owensboro Catholic. Henning now with it. Henning goes to her left. Dribbles inside. Going right to the rack is fouled. Through the contact. Steve Lawrence says you got to take care of the ball. We did vote Hannah McKay, just so you Owensboro Catholic fans out there. We did vote Hannah McKay for the MVP of this game. Now that's our vote. We got one vote. Everybody on Media Rose got a vote, so it doesn't guarantee that that's who will get it. But I think she's the likely choice. 35-32, 36-32. Owensboro Catholic with a four-point lead. Their fans up on the feet. Everybody in here up on their feet now. 36-32 the score. Neely with the basketball. Neely, Spencer on it. Spencer getting a little closer here. Neely getting by, going to get the foul called on Spencer. Spencer, Neely so quick got past Spencer, and Spencer had no other choice but to reach in there and swipe at the ball, committing the foul. Excuse me. Long grown inbound and underneath their own basket looking, and just got it in, head of that five-second call. Neely out top, 36-32. Driving to the basket, Gutman couldn't get it to fall, but it is foul. Gutman will go to the line. Sean Anderson thinks this is going to come down to free throws. Very possible. 36-32 the score. Thirty-six, thirty-two. Free throws up. Free throws good. Thirty-six, thirty-three. Your score. Second free throw on the way. No good. Rebound. Walton Verona. However, three on the way. It looks good. In and out of there. Couldn't get it to fall. McKay comes down there with the rebound for. Owensboro Catholic, that three was taken by Addison Michael, by the way. Three from the left wing from Owensboro Catholic, rattles down. And a timeout call. Timeout is called. We'll see who got that three for Owensboro Catholic. We're going to see him hit the corner real quick. And a three taken. And the three hit by Keelan. Keelan hit the three there, a big three for Owensboro Catholic. 39-33, your score. Champion Ford, couldn't do it without him, folks. Champion Ford. Congratulations to both teams for getting here. What a great season that they have already had. 
Both teams with an opportunity to get the Rupp Arena come March. I know Owensboro Catholic has a really good shot at it coming out of their region. We've got 3.44 left to play in this one. It is a six-point ball game. Owensboro Catholic on top, 39-33. Walton Verona had a big first half. Owensboro Catholics outscored them so far here in the second half. Fans on their feet, they want an outstanding finish here. Everything's on the line. Everything's been left out on the court too, both class act programs. Great coaches as well. Neely's gonna hand it off here to Addison Michael and Michael will bring the rock up the floor. She's being picked up straight up by Keelan. Ball taken away here by Owensboro Catholic's Henning. Henning on the other end, blocked from behind, followed back up and put up and in by Keelan. Big play there for O'Calf. Here's Neely going to the rack. Layup good. Fears no woman, Neely. She doesn't care if you're 10 feet tall. She's going at you. I want to send a shout out to Jacqueline Coleman watching. 41-35, she's going to be running for uh, Lieutenant Governor, by the way. Her and Andy Bashir. She's here in attendance supporting both of these teams. And uh, just sent me a message. I appreciate that, Jacqueline. Gary Ball in the house. Gary Ball in the house. 41-35. Coach Chris O'Brien's here tonight, uh, or the, to this afternoon. I keep thinking it's nighttime. I thought it was morning when we got here. I think it's nighttime now. I'm confused, you guys. <laughs> no windows in here. No windows at all. Been like that for the whole week. But I tell you what, some great basketball. 41 to 35, our score. You're watching the game live here on Prep Spin, the leader in high school sports broadcasting in the state of Kentucky. By the way, for these two schools, if you guys got big events coming up, you holler at us and we'll work it out. We'll get some sponsors together and try to come cover it. With your contacts, our contacts, we can make it happen. 41 to 35. We're talking about doing a, the Prep Spin Basketball Classic next year. Where we'll invite teams to a court that we choose that uh, will broadcast all those games live on our network. Kind of run it like the CBS Sports Classic, if you will. Where they have the four big teams and then alternate them the next year. 41 to 35 to score. Five-second call going to be called against Clemens and Owensboro Catholic. Coach Robertson was yelling over there in Clemens to Clemens, but you got to figure, man, there's a lot of people in here, and you, you can't hear anything in here. It's so loud. Forty-one thirty-five to score. Two thirty left to go in this ball game. Neely out top. She's got to hand it over there to Brooke Perry. Brooke Perry with a basketball going to her right. She'll drive, hit it off the glass. Big basket there for Perry and Walton Verona. 41-37, time ticking down. We're getting down to two minutes, folks. Clemens runs the screen out top. Nice pickup, though, by Gutman. Here's over on the right side here, Spencer Harvey. Spencer Harvey has the ball tied up. Neely coming there and said, give me that ball. Possession arrow will stay with Owensboro Catholic. Owensboro Catholic will have it. 158 left to go in this one. 41 37, O'Cath with the lead. Can O'Cath hang on to become champions or will the Bearcats come back and win it? Too close to tell. All out top. 
Lyon had a shot at it there. Gave it back up to Clemens. Clemens trying to hand it off and almost taken away. McKay does handle it, though. Here's Henning. Henning gives it back to Clemens. Clemens back over there to the left side. And Lyon is going to be fouled out top. Neely came out there and fouled her. Owensboro Catholic just trying to run the clock down right now, it appears. Marta Black says, let's go Walton Verona. Nancy Borman says, nope, let's go Lady Aces. Riley Smith says, go Cats. Passionate fan base from both sides. We appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Henning with it out top. Perry all over, though. Here's Clemens. Clemens will hand it off here to Keelan. Keelan looking back over here to Harvey. Harvey. Harvey had the ball taken away. Neely comes back up with it. Neely on the way, back down on the other end of the floor. Neely swinging it over. Here's a three on the way. Perry, no good. Big rebound. Big, big rebound by McKay. McKay cleared that board. And a timeout. Nope, a foul going to be called. A foul called. I thought for a second a timeout was going to be called, but that comes here just right at a minute left to go here in this ballgame. 41-37 our score. Again, want to thank Champion Ford for all their support here on the network. Champion Ford. 41-37 to score. Hitting at the line here for O'Calf with a bonus, and she hits the first one. Lady Aces in control. This free throw will make it a six-point ball game if she can hit it. Got it. Neely in the wild, uh, in the Bearcats, excuse me. Three on the way. Good! Timeout call. The three was hit by Strunk. Watch this. Clutch three here. Big time three. And Emma Strunk feeling it. Oh, hey guys, that was Gutman. That was Gutman that hit the big three. My apologies, Gutman hit the big three. 43 to 40, our score. A three point affair. Forty-three, forty. Marta Black rooting on the team right now. The hair was covering up the jersey number as uh, that shot was being made. You can see it if you look back on the replay, but the hair was coming, covering it up, and, and I initially thought it was strong. But it was Gutman. Anyway, regardless, it's a big three for the team. Walton Verona trailing by three. Owensboro Catholic with the basketball. They need something here. O'Calf with it. Neely trying to get to the basketball. Harvey with the basketball. Ball poked loose, but a foul going to be called. 43 to 40. There's 41 seconds officially up on the time clock. Our time clock a little off here. Bearcats with a little bit more time. It's 41.2 seconds officially upstairs. And that's where we go by. Free throw by Harvey misses, and Walton Verona is going to have an opportunity to tie here. We'll sync up our time clock when theirs comes. Strunk thought about that. Gives it back over to Neely. Here's Neely. Had the shot blocked. Harvey got a piece of it. Here comes Owensboro Catholic Henning going to be fouled. 43 to 40. And 
And the paint says finish strong aces. Finish strong aces. What a game. Chad Magus says, great job all week, fellas. Thanks for what you do. Appreciate that, Chad. We appreciate Jerry as well for uh, stepping up to the plate and doing a big thing for the community there in Owensboro by helping us put on the Owensboro Lady Aces. 44 to 40 is our score. We'll put another point up there for Owensboro Catholic. I'm looking at these YouTube comments right now. What do you guys think about the coverage this week? Let us know. 44 to 40 is our score. 21.3 seconds officially up on that clock. 21.3 officially on the clock. And at the line here is Henning. Henning's free throw. No good. Walton Verona has it. Owensboro Catholic has a four-point lead. They're going to have to hurry if they're going to get something here. Walton Verona, time ticking down, time ticking down. Loses the ball out of bounds, and Owensboro Catholic will have the ball back. Tiptoe on the sideline, Addison Michael. Nine point nine seconds up on the time clock. Spencer to inbound here for Owensboro Catholic. They're in control. McKay has it immediately fouled, and McKay will go to the line. McKay, she's the real MVP. Anna McKay. Thank you, Joyce. Says we have done an amazing job keeping them posted on every play. We appreciate that. 44 to 40. Free throw misses. You hit one here, it's definitely over. You, you don't hit one, and then you get a three down on the other end, and you happen to foul Walton Verona. Then you're in trouble. Second free throw, no good. Walton Verona, they need to get fouled. Everybody's telling. Well. Layup unsuccessful, and Owensboro Catholic wins it. Owensboro Catholic is your All-A Classic State Champions. All-A Classic State Champions, Owensboro Catholic. A huge fight for Walton Verona in this game. They played an outstanding tournament. I hate to see the, uh, the girls cry out there on the court. I always get emotional when I see the girls in the you know, the, the players cry out there. It happens in the boys' games too, but don't, don't put your head down. Keep your head up high. You got to love that your team not only are regional champions, but you got to love that your team made it as far as they did. Yeah, you came up a little short, but don't hang your head down. Great job to Owensboro Catholic. They are your champs. And uh, we're going to hold it right here. We're going to go down to the floor here in a second and listen in to uh, the awards that are going to be given out. We got uh, the next game. We're going to have you, uh, we're going to have Lexington Christian Academy taking on University Heights. You got Kyle Rowe, Kiki Tandy coming up in that one. Gary Ball will have your play call in that one. And, uh, We'll uh, bring that to you live here from Eastern Kentucky University. And uh, again, thanks everybody for tuning in today. Uh, it's a crazy, crazy thing, the amount of people that have actually uh, been on there watching and interacting with us and uh, just passionate fan bases. And we, we truly appreciate that. We're waiting on the award presentations down here on the floor. It's coming up. The 
the uh, Ollie Classic brought their big table out there with the trophies. And I'll go back into my comments. Jenny Ross says, thank you, Prep Spin. Riley Smith says, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Uh, Lori Spencer Angel says, now we can focus on state. Congrats to the Aces, says Danette. Uh, thank you for the great coverage, Prep Spin, Lori says. And then uh, Steve says, great game, Bearcats. Awesome game, girls. You did a great, you did great, Lady Cats. Proud to be Bearcats. Cats are the best, says Riley Smith. Bethany Wright says, thank you for the coverage. Well, thank you, guys. Make sure you guys uh, like our Facebook page. We're trying to build up our, uh, our likes on there. And then follow us on Twitter, too, at PrepSpin. P-R-E-P-S-P-I-N. Let's listen in here to the awards. Would not be possible. Thanks, Eastern Kentucky University President Michael Benson, Richmond Mayor Robert Blythe, Conferencing and Events Executive Board Director Jill Bryce, and Richmond Tourism Director Lori Murphy Taney, and their respective staff for helping make this tournament a success. At this time, Kyle Bennett will present the statewide basketball runner-up trophy to the Walton Verona Bearcats. Walton Verona getting their runner-up trophy here. Congratulations, ladies. Great season so far, but I got a feeling we may see them down the road in rough arena, possibly. And now Dave Kelly will present the statewide basketball championship trophy to the Owensboro Catholic Lady Aces. Owensboro Catholic. State champs. for you folks back at home. They know that the camera's up there. We're high above the Paul S. McBrayer Arena. And they know that uh, all the folks back home, that was for you. The 2019 championship game will be presented by Dr. David McMahon on behalf of Mayor Robert Fly to the head coach Michael Robertson of the Owensboro Catholic High School. It's a great group of ladies right there for both teams. And uh, again, going on to win this ball game is the Lady Aces of Owensboro Catholic. Big time tournament. We voted Hannah McKay as our MVP uh, for Owensboro Catholic of the tournament. It was a unanimous vote. We'll see what happens. Emma Strong being recognized. Keelan being honored here. Rightfully so. Are talking about all tournament right now? From Walton Verona, Haley Keelan. Keely. From Walton Verona, Sarah Clemens. Clemens from Walton Verona Catholic. From Walton, Verona, Brooke Perry. Brooke Perry from Walton, Verona. And from Walton, Catholic, Maddie Lyon. Lyon. Hit that, hit that big shot against Murray to send them on to the 
semifinal game. And at this time, Mayor Robert Blythe will present the most valuable player award to Hannah McKay of Owensboro County. Your vote counted, folks. I let everybody on chat vote. Gary Ball is uh, Hannah McKay. That's the way to do it. The MVP. I remember the uh, young lady, Rebecca Greenwell, that played for Owensboro Catholic. Oh, Went yeah. on to play at Duke. Yep. Miss basketball. Big time. Congratulations to all the tournament <laughs> award winners. All right, that's going to do it for this game for us. Again, your final score in this one. Owensboro Catholic Lady Aces are your state champs in the All-A Classic. We'll be back, folks, for the boys' game. Of course, on a different link as well. <laughs> but we'll be back, Gary Ball. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks, we, everybody, for we tuning promise. in.